Good day, everyone. Today, we will be tackling Chapter 7 of Ian Stewart's Nature's Numbers. I am Imalika Fife. I am Gerardus Castillo. And I am Jason Quadra. Nature is truly nothing if there is none that performs in a rhythmic pattern. As we observe and listen with our own human senses, we can tell that there are many rhythms in nature. These rhythms can be found inside the human body. Examples are the heart and lungs that follow a rhythmic cycle. The heart performs heartbeat and the lungs move to create a breathing pattern. As I quote by Ian Stewart's Nature's Numbers, Nature's rhythm takes care of themselves, running in the background. It operates as long as nothing unusual is happening. In nature, we see God's creation in the rhythm of life. The four seasons are the four rules He established for His creation. Nature never departs from those rules. We also see that each season brings good and bad. In summer, we bask in the sun, but we also get hurricanes. In spring, we sow and see flowers, but we get to experience allergy on the rice. In fall, we begin to feel relief from summer, but then it's back to school and back to work. Winter can be the harshest of all, but then we get Christmas seasons. So, aside from the advantages and disadvantages we get from nature's rhythms, there are also the emotional patterns that are performed by living organisms. We have gates, for example. According to Ian Stewart, gait is the term used for describing the default patterns of motions that occur when conscious control is not happening in legged animals. For example, when horses gallop, there are times when all of its feet are off the ground. Now it's time that we learn from Edward Muybridge, who pioneered the scientific study of gates or the locomotion in the actions of animals in nature. He adapted a mechanical device known as a zoetrope or zoopraxiscope, a movie projector to display them as moving pictures. By this, he discovered both science and art. We also have the gate analysis, whereas it is a systematic study created in order to assess the locomotion in animals using the eye and the brain of the observer. It is also a branch of mathematical biology that answers the questions, how do animals move and why do they move like that? These general mathematical concepts apply to many different levels and things. Now at this point, we will be discussing oscillation. Oscillation means to move or swing back and forth in a regular rhythm. Meanwhile, an oscillator is a unit whose natural dynamic causes it to repeat the same cycle of behavior over and over again. So why do systems oscillate? It is the simplest thing if you don't want to remain still and when you cannot escape. To put it into example, a caged tiger paces up and down because it feels restless and does not want to sit still. Aside from that, another possible reason is that it is confined in a cage because it cannot disappear over the nearest hill. So here are the types of oscillation. First, we have periodic oscillation. It does not need to follow a regular path as long as it is to find a series of motions that works and repeats it over and over again. Many oscillations arise out of steady states. Examples of periodic oscillation are objects that repeat themselves in a regular cycle, such as sine waves, vibrations of violin strings, and the swinging movement of pendulums. On the other hand, we have hop bifurcation. It is defined as a critical point where a system stability switches and a periodic solution arises. It can be seen as a special type of symmetry breaking where symmetries that break relate not to space, but time. Now we move on to line symmetry. There are two major types. Firstly, we have symmetric under time translation. In this type of line symmetry, we observe the motion of the system. 
then wait for some fixed intervals that occur and observe again. Then we will see the exact same behavior. Secondly, we have reflectional symmetries of time. It means reversing the direction in which time flows. It is a subtle and philosophically difficult concept. The law of motion is symmetric under time reversal. We must always remember that even though the laws are time reversible, the motion they produce need not be, because once the time reversed symmetry has been broken by the choice of initial condition, it remains broken. All time translations mean that states that are invariant under these symmetries must look exactly the same at all instants of time, and not just intervals of one period. It must be a steady state. Two biologically distinct but mathematically similar types of oscillators are involved in locomotion. For example, animals' limbs, especially those of mammals, can be thought of as mechanical systems, linked assemblies of bones, pivoting at the joints, pulled this way and that by the contracting muscles in their internal systems. The main oscillators can be found in the animal's nervous system, the neural circuitry that generates the rhythmic electrical signals that stimulate and control the limb's activity. Biologists call it the CPG, or the Central Pattern Generator, whereas the acronym for LIMB is LEG, which is Locomotive Excitation Generator. Some animals possess only one gait. For example, elephants can only walk, and if it runs, it only ambles, which means to walk in a fast manner, while others possess many gaits. A horse may move at a low speed, which means to walk, Moving at higher speed means to trot, and its top speed, which is shown, is it gallops. The seven common quadrupedal gates are trot, pace, bound, walk, rotary gallop, transverse gallop, canter, and prong, which is a rare type of gait. There are presently two typical oscillation patterns. First, we have what we call the in-phase pattern, wherein both escalators behave identically. Next, we have an out-of-phase pattern, in which both escalators behave identically except for a half-period phase difference. We must always remember that the faster an animal moves, the less symmetry its gait has, meaning more speed breaks equals more symmetry. It is biologically important that symmetry is not broken. For example, the swarms of fireflies in Southeast Asia. In relation to this, we have synchrony. It is the rule for mathematical models in which every firefly interacts with one another. Once a group of oscillators has locked together, it cannot be unlocked. The big message in both locomotion and synchronization is that nature's rhythms are often linked to symmetry and the patterns that occur can be classified mathematically by invoking the general principles of symmetry breaking. Symmetry breaking does not provide an answer for the natural world, but they provide a unifying framework and often formulate interesting new questions. And that is all for today. We hope that you have learned a lot from our discussion. The importance of the rhythm of life is highly regarded in nature, as it is one of the main key factors in the success of the movements performed by living organisms. We highly encourage you to share the knowledge you have gained about life's rhythm in nature. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.